Wide, Kansas has finalized plans to construct a 110 megawatt power station near Ulysses, Kansas. The equipment which will power the station will be 12 new Caterpillar G20CM34 natural gas fired generator sets. The station will be named Rubart Station after board member Mr. Perry Rubart. It's a great honor to have that station named after me. I've served on the electric board for 27 years and it's a great honor to represent the people of Southwest Kansas. The Kansas Electric Company is a generation and transmission company that is operated like a cooperative. We serve about 200,000 people in 33 central and western Kansas counties. Our goal at MidKansas is to provide reliable electric service at the lowest possible cost while protecting the environment. Mid-Kansas has chosen to build Rubart Station because we've experienced about a 1% load growth annually on our system and our existing generating fleet was unable to meet the growing demands of our system. The installation of reciprocating engine technology will benefit Mid-Kansas primarily in the form of ancillary services to support the wind infiltration that we've experienced in western Kansas. It will also provide much needed voltage support for our transmission system. Working with Caterpillar and negotiating the equipment supply agreement has been a great experience. It became pretty clear early on that our cultures were very similar with regards to respect, fairness in dealing, and accountability. Right. So Mid-Kansas selected the G20CM34 engines from Caterpillar because of their fuel economy, low emission profile, and their ability to start and stop on short notice. With the wind integration in our system, we have a lot of demand, a lot of volatility in demand. We need to be able to start and load the engines rapidly, and the Caterpillar engines give us that capability in an efficient, environmentally friendly design. Uh, the execution plan for Rhubarb Station, uh, at this time we're looking primarily at the engineering for the engines and for the balance of plant, and doing the permitting work that's required to uh, site and, and build a facility such as this. We'll expect to get the basic engineering and the permitting work complete early next year. That will allow us to begin the site work in 2013, probably April 2013. We should start to see engines on site late September, early October of 2013. It'll take us most of the rest of the year to get them installed. We'll start commissioning work uh, probably January 1st of 2014, and we expect to have the site commercial by April 1st of 2014. Why cat? Early on in the project, it became obvious to us at Mid-Kansas Electric that the core values of Caterpillar and Mid-Kansas were in perfect alignment of each other. The core values allowed us to work in a spirit of cooperation that not only benefited Caterpillar, but also benefited Mid-Kansas members. The name Caterpillar is synonymous with both dependability and quality, both of which are very important to us in the electric generation industry. The CAT sales team from day one has been devoted to making the project work. Their ability to think outside of the box while meeting our members' needs allowed us to build a very functional and efficient facility. Yeah, we believe this, this plant, uh, since it's going to offer 110, 110 megawatts of flexible uh, generation capacity to meet Kansas, uh, that, that would uh, provide uh, known and unknown benefits to meet Kansans. Known because uh, it will be possible to firm up the capacity from uh, wind present, the wind generation capacity present in their grid, and unknown because uh, the SPP uh, market uh, will, will um, regulate and operate uh, ancillary services starting in the spring of 2014. So we, we still don't know what's going to be the premium to be paid for the flexibility that this plant will produce, but certainly they will be able to collect uh, significant uh, differenti differentiated tariffs for uh, bringing products like uh, spinning reserve, non-spinning reserve, and regulation, among others, to, to, to the SPP market. So um, uh, all of us here from, from the CAT team are, are very happy to have this reference in Kansas and also we, we truly believe uh, Beat Kansas would, would uh, realize the tremendous benefits from having this capacity installed in, in their region. Mm -hmm.